House Speaker Mike Johnson making his message clear in a pre buttle ahead of Joe Biden's State of the Union address tonight. America is at a breaking point. Joe Biden is touting Bidenomics. Bidenomics is working. 78% of voters view the economy negatively and that the president is to blame. All right, it all comes as the stage is set for a Trump Biden rematch with the president wasting no time trying to court those Nikki Haley voters after she dropped out yesterday. So, what message does Joe Biden need to send to the nation tonight? Fox News contributor and former presidential speechwriter Mark Thiessen joins us from D.C. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. I think a lot of people, I mentioned this a moment ago, I think a lot of people are going to watch this just to see if he can get through it. But ultimately, it's the message. And, <laughs> and I, I was reading on uh, Axios, they say that um, Biden needs a cure for what some advisors call Trump amnesia, the notion that the chaos and unpopularity of Trump's presidency has receded. So it sounds like he's just going to get in the Wayback Machine and talk a lot about Trump. Possibly, I mean that's his best play because his you know his policies are disaster. So the only way he can he can win the election is by deflecting. But look, the challenge facing Joe Biden tonight uh, tonight is uh, every president when they go out on the, into the uh, the rostrum of the house they say the state of the union is strong. Well, right. ask yourself a simple question: Do you think the state of the union is strong? Does anyone think the state of the union is strong? Seventy three percent of Americans say we're heading in the wrong direction. Forty three percent of Americans say Joe Biden's policies have made their lives worse. Only 18% right. say that he's made their lives better. And so you look at the, you look at, he's underwater on every single issue by double digits. Uh, the State of the Union is not strong. Uh, and that's hard to overcome with any speech. Uh, right. The speechwriters are good; they're important. I was one. Of, I was a speechwriter. I, I love the craft. But there's only there's some problems words can't fix. Sure, absolutely. You got a new op ed in the WAPO, and uh, the headline is uh, Trump needs Haley voters who win back the White House. And what you make you make the case that he's got a lot of great supporters who are 100 percent behind him, yep. but he can't win with just them. He needs to get the independents and the Republicans who voted for her during the primary. Yeah, no, 100 percent. Hey, uh, Nikki Haley is out of the race, but her voters will probably decide the 2024 election. Uh, you know, they, they are uh, they are the swing voters of 2024. They're a mix of non-MAGA Republicans, mostly with some independents and Democrats mixed in. And they're going to decide this race. I, I went back and looked at all the races so far. Right. And she has exact she won exactly two million eight hundred seventy three thousand four hundred ninety one votes. The 2020 election was decided by forty two thousand nine hundred eighteen votes in three states. So Trump can't afford to leave any votes on the table. Uh, and th those voters are going to be the most coveted voters in this election right. uh, because they, they will, they're the swing voters who will decide the race. And uh, in your op-ed, you're right. Many Republicans look at this and say there's no way Joe Biden can win. Yes, he can. And if you don't believe it, I've got three words for you. Senator John Fetterman. Yeah, I mean, you know, the uh, in voters in Pennsylvania have shown that if they don't like the alternative, uh, they'll vote for a guy who just had a stroke. <laughs> I mean, you know, you look at we were right. talking, you guys were talking about the debates and whether Joe Biden's going to avoid debates. Jo jo John, Fe remember John Fetterman's debate? And they voted for him. They put him in they office. Did indeed. Uh, you know, if they don't like the alternative, so Trump really has to appeal to those swing voters and make an effort to win uh, win them over and convince the non MAGA voters. Our Fox News uh, voter analysis says about two thirds of the electorate, Republican electorate is MAGA, a third is not. He needs those non-MAGA voters, and he needs to, to convince them to come to his camp and unite the Republican right. Party. Well, tonight during the State of the Union, he will be live truthing over on Truth Social. Let's see how that goes. Mark, thank you very much for getting up early on this Thursday. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.